Okay folks, welcome back for some more FIFA 21 Ultimate Team Road to Glory, no money spent. Today I'm going to be going over a uh, squad build today that costs around 40k. Guys, this squad build is really, really good for the price. As you can see, solid in defence. The midfield got a bit of creativity there with a couple of really good passes and solid defensive midfielders and guys up front just look at their speed just look at the speed up front guys this costs around 40 to 45 K and I think if you're just starting out guys this really is one hell of a build to go with to start with maybe something that you could try Anyway, let's go over it in a bit more depth. Guys, you're going to be using a 4-3-2-1 to set this up. And in goal, I've gone with, with Sergio Asensio. As you can see, he's got 84 diving, 82 reflexes. He's just a good, solid all-round keeper to begin with. At the centre back position guys, this guy really does, doesn't need any introduction for this level. He's an absolute excellent card, Diego Carlos. If you look at this guy's attributes, pace 77, defending 82. You can boost all of that with the uh, shadow chem style. At right back, this is probably the only weak link. At right back, you've got Emerson. Now, with this card, I would recommend that you put the shadow chem style on. As you can see, he's got 80 pace. Defending is 74. Dribbling isn't bad for a right back, but if you put the uh, shadow chem style on, that's going to boost that pace and boost that defence. Physical's quite good as well. Okay, coming over guys to the other centre back position. I've gone with Nacho Fernandez. Again, another excellent card to, to begin with. 78 pace, 80 defending. That again can be boosted with the shadow card, with the shadow chem style rather. You can boost the pace and boost the defending. Excellent physical, good jumping even though he's only around 5'11". And the strength's pretty good and the aggression is as well. So that's what one to be considering. At left back, again this guy is really, really good. I've gone with Yuri Birchi. 83 pace, 80 defending, excellent physicality. And again, you can boost this one with the shadow card also. But to be honest, this one speaks for itself. This one is just an excellent card. And to be honest, guys, in, in some games, I've actually played this guy as a centre-back. OK, going into the midfield positions now. At midfield, on the left-hand side, I've got Marcos Lorente. Pace 84, shooting 74, excellent dribbling, can defend as well, brilliant physical. This guy I've been using a lot recently. I've got the Maestro chem, chem style on, and to be honest, he gets forward and gets some goals as well. And he's also excellent in defence at tackling as well. Guys, this guy, Coutinho... Now you look at this card, he's thinking 72 pace. But the dribbling guys, the dribbling on this card is insane. You can turn, you can you can move away from defenders using skill moves. This really is a solid card and an excellent player to use in the cam position. He can hold the ball up with his turning, wait for players to run in behind, and he can just feed that excellent pass with his excellent passing. 
physical's not that good, but uh, the passing and the dribbling really makes this card worth having, especially in this formation. Okay, at the right centre mid position, I've gone with another Brazilian, Paulinho. Again, guys, this card is just for the price, it's just a brilliant card. 72 pace, but you can boost that with a chem style. Shooting is 82. This guy gets forward, and when he gets in front of goal, he very rarely misses. Dribbling 82, and he's got that defending as well, and the physical, so he's going to get a tackle in in midfield as well. So as well as going forward and supporting the the front three is also going to be able to intercept the ball and set up a lot of counter attacks. Now, guys, the front three. Now, these are just if you can stick the right chem style on there, you're going to boost the pace, you're going to boost the finishing, and they're just going to be amazing. One thing I would advise uh, with Rodrigo here, I've used Rodrigo as right forward. What you would need to do is if you've got the RM version of Rodrigo, I would change his position to to uh, to right wing to use him. Because even though I've got 100 chemistry, his chemistry is only 6 at the moment. But if you put change his position to right wing, that should increase that to around 8, 9 or 10. So yeah, I've gone with Rodrigo at, at right forward there. At left forward, again, another Brazilian, uh, Vinicius Junior. This guy, 95 pace. Shooting isn't that good, so you would have to put a chem style on there to get that up, I would imagine. Passing isn't good, but the dribbling is excellent. He's going to get forward with that pace. He's going to be able to cause absolute havoc in the box, in the opposition box and deliver those passes or even shoot and basically look for rebounds after he's shot if the goalkeeper doesn't uh, make a good save. This this guy is absolutely brilliant, an excellent card to use if you're just starting out and for the price guys, to be honest, you cannot go wrong with this card. And up front, guys, again, up front, another card just insane. This guy deserves no introduction. If you're just starting out, this is the card to have. This is the striker to have. And Naki Williams, pace 94, acceleration 93, sprint, sprint feet speed 94, shooting 79, finishing 79. But as you can see, guys, with the right with the right chemistry, all of that gets boosted. His passing isn't too good. Dribbling isn't isn't the best. He's uh, not very agile either. But what you're looking for with this guy is, is for him to run forward and for Coutinho to deliver that killer through ball. This guy will be on the end of it, guys. I guarantee, and he's going to put the ball in the net. Physically, he's excellent as well. Jumping's great. Aggression, strength. He's going to get a lot of headers as well because he's pretty tall. Yeah, six foot one, so he's going to get a lot of headers, uh, you know, for corners, crosses. He's going to be on the end of it, guys, due to his speed and his ability. You can't go wrong with this card, guys. Okay, guys, so as I say, this costs around 40k. At the moment on PS4, it's around 41k. On Xbox, it's a little bit cheaper, around 37k. And on PC, it's quite expensive. It's around 44k. So, this is this is a, a good squad to think about if you're just starting out. Very very versatile as well, guys. You can also swap formation and game. For example, what you could do is pull the two CMs back, Lorente and uh, Paulinho. Have uh, Coutinho in a more advanced role with the two front three. With, with the front three further forward or well, what you could do guys is you could pull the front the, f the, f the left wing and the right wing further back play them as left mid and right mid and sit back a bit more defensively and look to counter with a Naki Williams up front 
entirely up to yourselves guys this is an excellent formation uh, very versatile and the speed up front is going to get you a lot of goals okay guys I'm going to leave it here then uh, if you're enjoying the videos guys drop a like down below and I'm going to go away now and look into some more formations and squad builds and I'll be back later with some more anyway guys until next time take care thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.